So what we're talking about right now is my Australian record higfish. Yes, Mitch. That is mental. Howdy, howdy. A lot of hours at this desk lately. Uni, YouTube, thesis, work from home. Pretty excited now though. I just finished my data analysis for my thesis, so super pumped. So what we're talking about right now is my Australian record higfish. Now on this fateful day of the pigfish, we were diving in butte conditions, flat as, blue as, bait everywhere. There were these crazy schools or mega schools of sweep. Pretty sick to see. I haven't seen anything as big as that. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that in a second, but I just want to quickly show you kind of what I've been working on on the car because I'm super pumped about it and I kind of want to bring you guys along on um, what I'm doing. So basically, here I've installed this inverter recently so I can, you know, charge all my goodies when I'm on the road. I've got a little power board there and Ryobi charger. I've got a few little goodies like a. Oh, what do we got? air compressor now because my old one broke got some other tools but um yeah here's the actual car kind of got it a bit organized there that's it as it stands i'm currently installing more and more bits and pieces as we go I'm, I'm so keen to turn this into a bit of a working powerhouse i want to be able to kind of live out of this a little bit and travel around and so i want to add some power um, more batteries more solar something like that just to keep us keep us working and on the move. The day goes on, we keep seeing more mad wildlife, like massive schools of stingray. It's kind of rare for these to school up like this. It's sick too, kind of sno snooping below the schools of uh, stingrays and seeing what's about. waited for a king for a while and by the time it turned around it was gone but it's around there somewhere anyway the day goes on we're snooping around all the cool wildlife and mitch actually managed to plug a nice kingy which is sick yes mitch so finally, kingy in the boat, we're like, okay, let's just kind of scout some new ground and just check out what's around. So that's what we do. So the Eastern pigfish, what we're talking about, it's uh, Bodianus unimacalatus, I think is the scientific name. Basically, it was a fish I shot a little while ago, but it wasn't until more recently that I was actually sent confirmation of the record um, kindly by Simon Tripe USFA. So I'm gonna show you that footage, show you the weight and that kind of thing, which is exciting. I suppose we should talk about facts of the pigfish though. Allegedly they frequent New Zealand and um, that's kind of, I guess their native area. They're also found around Lord Howe Island, uh, Norfolk Island and also around the east coast of Australia. They're cool fish across their lifespan and actually sex change from female to male, which is pretty cool. The females being pinkish more so and then the males being more of that reddy color which you'll see people tell me that they do catch them fishing and i'm guessing they do hang out a bit deeper on the east coast of australia but yeah less is common spear fishing though yeah okay so now you know what i'm talking about when it comes to pig fish um, i'm going to show you that footage right in a second this is the final job i was just working on and i actually just finished off before i started filming this video and that was um oh actually See how this looks. Oh, I'm going to take you around the other side. Oh, that sun is bright, man. That's better if I hold this. And yeah, all right. I'm getting this. We're making it work. So basically, this little footwell here, I'll show you photos of it before. It was rusted out. It was rusted to shit. And I've had to sand it back, prime it, spray it. And now there's no more rust. Otherwise, could have been Fred Flintstone and I'll be running my car along because it was you know, they, Russ was eaten. Without further ado, let's let's just talk about this pigfish. So 
Let's let's start that footage. I'm gonna keep talking. I'll be right with you all the way. So I just did a drop, uh, a bit of a deeper drop, I would say, and at a new spot. And I started looking around, and there was all fish around. Couldn't see anything. I was like uh, amazingly pumped about, but um, it was just cool to see a new ground. And then I spot this new thing, and I'm guys just going, is that what? What is that? Is that a pig fish or or something like that? I'm like, yeah, well, it's, it's definitely not a protected species. Um, it's not something I shouldn't shoot, so I know that. And that's all you need. You just need to know what you can't shoot, and that's the most important thing. And I knew that I could shoot this. A big fish, yeah. <laughs> He's sitting right on the bottom, came out of this cave. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it was nice looking at fish. I was like, yeah, she looks legal. <laughs> really? Yeah, there you go. You get them fishing like deep sea, hold on. Yep. That is mental. Yeah, right. Hectic. Yeah, right, okay. Okay. I was so pumped and um, my mate Mitch, who I was with, he's actually done a bit of diving in New Zealand and he's like, man, that's a good pig fish. Like, I mean, for Australia, uh, that is. So I was super pumped and I went online and I freaking looked and the freaking, the only other record online was 0.8, you'll see it on the screen, 0.84, I think it was, 800 and something grams and it was from the 1960s. I was like, oh, okay, this is a... So I was just like, wow, this is a special fish. I'm so grateful. Um, I want to get this on the records considering the last one was 50, no, 60, 50 to 60 years ago. But yeah, in terms of actually weighing the fish and getting the record, there's a few things you have to do to ensure that it's going to be a record. Usually I'm not the type of guy to fuss around with that kind of stuff, but it all just fell into pap, into it all just kind of fell into place. The number one rule is to get it weighed on certified scale. So I took it up to my local fish shop, got it weighed. It came in at 1.05 kilos. It's a pretty crazy cool in increase for history, for the records and um, and all else. So yeah, very happy on that. I think it was 35 centimeters as well and something, something girth. Love seeing new species around the waters that I dive and scouting out new areas and yeah, that's what happens when you scout out new places. You should do that. You should check out, you know, go out there and put in the work to just check out new places. Um, it's cool. And it's so good finding your own spots instead of messaging people online, trying to get their spots and not putting in your work yourself. It feels so much better when you do it yourself. And yeah, I love doing that, man. So highly recommend. Feeling very grateful, very privileged to be able to have these opportunities and experiences. I hope to keep on doing that. I hope to work on my boat, work on my car, get them more and more in working order so I can get out there, just explore more of Australia, find more fish, do more things that I haven't done and maybe even other people haven't done. And um, yeah, adventure exploration is what gets me most excited in this world, I think. So I'll see you then when I'm doing that. If you like these videos, I would say consider subscribing, but if you do subscribe, please do ring the bell because I think to get notifications these days, you just need to ring that dang bell. See if I need to do anything else on this car. See us. Super random. <laughs> just as I was filming this video, Postman just came with these new Hilux mats I ordered. This is my got new ones is because this is what my old one looked like. And basically, it was all water just going straight through there when I got jumped in the car with my wetsuit on. So I think that was a part of the cause. Yeah, so part of fixing this was actually replacing that mat so we weren't, weren't getting excess salt water and water go in there and rust that out. Let's chuck them in. Damn, that looks good. Ooh, fresh to death. Thumbs up for this video. Let's get this dirty again soon.